right. Who is Dom Mazzetti? So I'm going to watch some of these, another one of these videos. <laughs> So it starts off as a normal day. I walk into my gym. I don't scan in, because I'm like T Pain and bartender. Oh, tender. Is the thing at me? So, am I gonna scan? Yeah, uh, beep. Nice try, just stop off. But this time, they try to stop me. Something's not right here. Something is off. Honest mistake, though. Could be a new guy. I'll have him fired. And then I enter the weight room, and I stop dead in my tracks. It's crowded. But I sense I'm not alone here. And then I see him. A guy. A bro. Lifting fucking weight. My weight. Acting like he's better than me. Fuck this guy. Fuck that guy right there. That disgrace. That's my gym nemesis. This is going to happen to everyone. At some point in your gym, you're going to run into your venom. Except you want to be venom. <laughs> despite a man's a bitch. I mean, look at this guy. If Helen Keller were a fucking jack-o'-lantern... He's not wrong about Spider-Man. She can still see that I'm bigger than a scrub. At the very least, it's a toss-up. I'm heads though. And tails. This is probably one of the most awkward moments. And everybody knows that. Where, you know, I think that if I would have met John at the gym, I think he would have been my gym nemesis. Um, but instead, I met him outside of the gym, and he ended up becoming my best friend. So, but if in the gym is just super awkward, you know, like you, you're fucking staring at each other, and but you're not really looking at each other. You're just like trying to scope each other out, you know. It's it's fucking strange, man. But it's cool though when you when you meet those people outside of the gym. That's when the real connections happen. Similar style, but he's deaf bite in mind. You and this guy, you're competing in the same weight class. He is your direct competition. You have established that in your gym, you are the undisputed champ at six foot, 170, sort of cut, strong on incline dumbbell, bro who's here every day from two to four. And now this homo is here in your weight room, all minding his own business, trying to take the belt from you. Not today, Pacquiao. Forget Look. Just to be honest, though, there is room for everybody, but uh, there's definitely like, if if you are in this situation, what you gotta do is you you have to deadlift, you have to deadlift because you know deadlifting is like a no question thing. If you squat or if you bench, then you're just showing up. But if you deadlift, it's like more raw and pure, like. Um, in my opinion, I think it looks better. You, you're you're more more humbled, you know, because it's a, like, like you 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 kind of put your put put your all out there. Like that lifts is one of like the strongest your strongest lifts. So, uh, yeah, man, just just kind of be humble and and, and then kind of like it'll it'll help ground yourself. <laughs> Scan the horizon and size this dude up from a distance. Run through your checklist, all right? Arms, chest, shoulders. Mind bigger? Probably, yeah. Think so? All right? Is he strong? Okay, he's about to lift that. Pretty See, so you are getting judged. Like, on your physique, you're getting judged on, like, what you're wearing and all this shit. But if you just go deadlift, all this shit goes out the window. Let's see what his form is like. All right, not bad. Well, let's not jump to conclusions here. Back to arms. Are his bigger? Fuck, man. Hard to tell from here. Hard to tell. Hard to tell from here. I mean, is he taller? Is he taller than me? My dick's taller for sure. <laughs> it is crucial. Also, be mindful that other people are watching you as the Alpha Gym Bro. If that's you, other people are watching you watch this person. 
that you find a way to pick apart this douchebag so you can get back on top. This is like an even bigger and more fucked up extension of body dysphoria. It's like when you look in a mirror and you can't tell if you're small because you can't see both yourself and your reflection at the same time. So who's really bigger? Yeah, your weights are fake, dude. I know it. These are real. These are real. These are real. Those are fake. physicist and skipper of leg day, Stephen Bulking, has proven space and time are relative, but pointless. The only thing that matters is mass, and mass is also relative. You are only big if you are bigger than something that is also big. This is science, and as your body dysmorphia dictates, you can't tell how big you are simply by looking at your muscles. Also, an easy way to avoid this is like if you're the gym bro that always wears like long sleeves. Uh, so, you know, for example, I, I like working out in, in hoodies and stuff. Like long sleeve hoodies, I, I typically have my hood on and sweats. Um, something that I picked up from Kai Green, and but like if that's the case, then like you're more mysterious and you know, the, and it's harder to judge you. But also, if you're the one and, and somebody else comes in, then like you're not running into this issue, you know, because you're not showing off your shit either. So. You need a side-by-side -side analysis performed. Luckily, all gyms come equipped with this software. It's called a mirror. But, you know, it's if you're fucking lonely, this is the perfect opportunity to make a friend. You know, you could eventually be like, yo, can I get a spot? But like, but at that point, like you have to be lifting chess. So if you're the bro that's there and you see somebody new, it's almost like, well, if you live chess, then you're probably making a new friend or a spotter for life, which it's, you know, that's a golden ticket right there to the, um, to the game train. Shit about the guy. 
cook, man. You just you just gotta ask for a spot, all right? Or or you know, like in this in this case, you could just throw out a compliment. If, if he has a gym bag, you know, you, you could always compliment that, or or maybe ask ask him like his opinion on whatever supplement shirt he's wearing, you know, because or or whatever, compliment his shaker, ask him what type of a workout he's in. Uh, or or just be like, hey dude, do you happen to have some pre workout? Boom. Immediately start a conversation right there. It's it's a it's an opportunity for a new gym, bro. Oh your speed, trust me. Can you put it back in? Yeah. Please? That's what your girl said. <laughs> yeah, you put it back in. You put it back in. You're gonna get mod for it. Really? You're so ugly, dude. Seriously? <laughs> For a spot they want or ask their opinions you know on a pre-workout or whatever supplement it doesn't have to go this far don't be you know just dude just be good no i've never i've never done it like that is that good like all the way back like a little bit lower turn your wrist out more you turn it out more huh normally i just rip like 60s or 70s bro like way more than that it works as you can see yeah your biceps are good bro how about mine might have been good, too, I know. I thought you were a punk bitch at first, but now we're like yeah. bros. What's your name? Brad. Oh, Don, good to meet you, bro. Good to meet you, dog. Good to meet you. And just like that, you become bros. It's like being friends with the only person you actually want to be friends with. Yourself. When he talks about his biceps, it's like he's talking about my biceps. Because he is now. Because the only reason I asked him about his biceps was so I can talk about mine. Which are bigger. This is very true, okay? Um... You know, we all like to talk about ourselves and going to the gym is like a very, it could, it could become a very selfish, motivative, like the reasons could be very selfish. So you want to talk about yourself because you're so consumed. Okay. Now, uh, I've done this and, you know, some of the conversations that, that I have out there uh, revolve around this, some of this, these topics, there is a place for them, but if that is the sole purpose of your friendship then that relationship is not gonna evolve into anything greater than a you're gonna anchor but busting your or building your your own ego and stroking your own ego to that relationship to where when times get tough along along the lines uh, then it's like you're gonna that person's gonna be selfish and you're gonna be selfish too so just just saying and better fuck this guy. 